Is your car ignoring you? Let's fix that. Ever hit the gas and feel like your car needs a second to think about it? That awkward pause, the delay in response? It's not just in your head. It's often a small sensor causing a big headache, the throttle position sensor, or TPS. And when it's out of sync, your acceleration suffers. The good news? You don't need a mechanic or some fancy scan tool to fix it. In this video, I'm giving you five quick TPS secrets to reset your throttle like a pro. No fluff, no dealership visit, just simple steps that anyone can do in their driveway. Let's get right into it. Starting with the easiest fix and working our way to the ultimate reset trick. Five, the ignition key. Reset trick. Let's kick things off with the easiest fix in the book. You're driving, you hit the gas, and your car hesitates like it's asking for permission first. That's classic throttle lag, and a misaligned TPS could be the reason. But here's the good part. You can fix it in under two minutes. Here's how the ignition key reset works. Step one, make sure the car is in park, engine off, foot off all pedals. Now, turn the key to the on position, but don't start the car. The dashboard lights should come on. Next, slowly press the gas pedal all the way down over four seconds. Hold it there for three full seconds. Then, slowly release it over another four seconds. Repeat this exact movement three times. Yes, three. Most people mess this up by rushing or skipping steps. Don't be that guy. After you finish the third round, turn the key to off. Pull it out. Wait 10 seconds. Then start the car. If your TPS was slightly out of alignment, you'll feel it immediately. The throttle tightens up, response improves, and your car just feels more alert. No tools, no scanner, just timing and precision. Number four, the battery disconnect method. Still feeling laggy? It might be time for a deeper reset. Think of this like rebooting your phone when it starts acting glitchy. Same idea, just with your engine. Here's the battery disconnect reset. Turn the car off completely. Pop the hood and grab a wrench. Loosen and remove the black negative terminal from the battery. That's your ECU's power source. Now this part matters. Wait five to 10 minutes. This isn't just about cutting power. It gives your car's computer time to fully shut down and clear stored throttle values. After the wait, reconnect the cable and tighten it up. Hop back in. Turn the key to on, don't start yet, and let the dashboard lights settle in. Then, start the engine and let it idle for 10 to 15 minutes. No touching the gas, no revving, just let it breathe. This idle time is crucial. It allows the engine control unit to relearn its baseline throttle settings in peace. Once the timer's up, take it for a spin. More often than not, throttle response becomes crisp and balanced again. This method is perfect for electronic throttle control systems, especially if they've been glitching out with weird idle or acceleration behavior. Three, TPS reprogramming after replacement. Now, let's say you've already replaced your throttle body or TPS sensor and the car still isn't driving right. Here's what most people miss. You have to reprogram the system afterward. Just swapping the part isn't enough. Start with a cold engine. This part's important. You don't want to be working around hot engine components. Step one, disconnect the negative battery terminal again. Wait two full minutes, reconnect it, then get in the car and turn the key to on. But again, don't start the engine. Now listen closely. Walk to the front of the car and pay attention. You'll likely hear a soft buzzing or humming sound. That's the throttle body motor recalibrating its new default position. This process usually lasts about three to five minutes. And here's the golden rule. Do not interrupt it. Don't touch the gas. Don't turn the key off. Don't even sneeze too hard. Once the humming stops, turn the key off and remove it. Now restart the car, let it idle for 10 to 15 minutes, and you're done. Why does this work? because your car needs to relearn how much throttle movement equals how much air. That buzzing sound is your vehicle recalibrating the range from closed to wide open throttle. 
I helped a guy who swapped his TPS and couldn't figure out why the engine was still surging. We followed this exact reprogramming routine and boom, problem solved. Dakun 2. Clean the throttle body. First, let me tell you something important. A dirty throttle body is like trying to breathe through a straw clogged with peanut butter. You can reset the sensor all day, but if the airflow is restricted because of gunk buildup, the TPS won't respond accurately. Here's the thing. The throttle position sensor works by interpreting how open the throttle plate is, and if that plate is coated in carbon buildup, the readings go haywire. So if your car is jerking, idling weird or randomly stalling, you might just be dealing with a filthy throttle body. Here's how to clean it. Step 1. Remove the air intake hose connected to your throttle body. You'll see a metal flap. That's your throttle plate. Grab a throttle body specific cleaner, not carb cleaner, not gasoline. Those can damage sensitive coatings and sensors. Spray a light mist directly onto the plate, then take a microfiber cloth and gently wipe away the grime. Focus on the edges. That's where the most buildup hides. And whatever you do, don't jab at the plate with a screwdriver or force it open too hard. You're cleaning, not wrestling. Once the metal looks more silver than black, you're good. Now start the car, let it idle for a few minutes, and take it for a test drive. A clean throttle body means smoother airflow, better idle control, and a sensor that finally makes sense of your gas pedal. Even better? This isn't just a reset trick, it's a preventative maintenance move. Do this every 12,000 miles or 20,000 kilometers, and your TPS will stay accurate far longer. 1. The Fuse Pull Trick Deep Reset Mode All right, we've made it to the ultimate TPS reset method, the big gun, the last resort move that actually works. It's called the Fuse Pull Trick, and it forces your throttle system to completely reboot itself. Let's break it down. Start with your engine off. Locate your fuse box. It's usually under the dash or inside the engine bay. If you're unsure, check the manual. Now look for a fuse labeled ETCS, ECM, or ECU. This little guy controls all your throttle software. Carefully pull it out and wait five full minutes. No shortcuts. This step drains any residual voltage and clears out every stored throttle value giving the ECU no choice but to relearn from scratch. After five minutes, reinsert the fuse, close the box, and get in the car. Turn the key to on, but again, don't touch the gas pedal. Just let it sit and breathe for 10 minutes while the system reboots and recalibrates. Then, start the car. Let it idle. Don't rev. Don't move. Just let the throttle system do its thing. This trick has saved people from spending hundreds at the dealership. One viewer with a 2016 model swapped the TPS, cleaned the throttle body, did the battery reset, and still had throttle issues. One fuse pull later? Fixed. It's like a digital wipe that tells your car, forget everything you thought you knew. Use this method as your final reset when all else fails. If this helped your car drive smoother, accelerate better, or just feel normal again, do me a favor. Tap that like button. It lets the algorithm know this video brought value and helps more drivers fix their rides without breaking the bank. Got a question? Curious which reset might work best for your specific make and model? Drop it in the comments. I check them regularly, and I'd love to help you figure it out. And if you're into simple car fixes, no-nonsense DIY tips, and videos that actually teach you something, subscribe to the channel. We've got more on the way. Until next time, keep your ride sharp, your throttle smooth, and your money in your pocket. You just became your own mechanic. Respect.